Weapon recoil on console though. This is huge. Weapon recoil on console. Angled grip. This is very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. All right. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the new patch notes that just came out. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that the majors just happened. Shout out to Rogue. They are insane. But, you know, following this new season with the new reveal that we got of the new operator, which is quite interesting, which we're going to get into as well. They came out with a bunch of patch notes and stuff that they did not talk about during the reveal that when I read these patch notes, I was like, no way. It's actually good console changes that we're going to talk about. And there's some interesting ones that I don't like, but we're going to talk about a bunch. So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. Also, I'll be streaming tonight. I stream at least five times a week, Royal Penguin XX on Twitch. I'll have a link down below around 8, 8.30 tonight. I'll be live, so pull up. But that being said, let's get into today's video. All right, so there's a lot to cover on this. Uh, I guess we'll start off down here just real quick. Look at the balancing real quick. Look at this. Overpower too strong. You have Finca all the way. I, mean, I wonder why. And you have Montang at the top. This is PC, but I, this is definitely exactly what console is like because it's, you know, it's not really much of a difference. The only difference I would say with PC is the reason why Montang is so high is because cheaters. You know what I mean? You're going to take Montang versus cheaters. Cheaters are going to take Montang. That's why he's so high. Same with Cali, cheaters, spin botting. But generally speaking, this is definitely the same as console. Like, you're going to see Finca taken way higher than everyone. And thank God they're nerfing her. I'll get into that as well. It's definitely interesting. Nice little force crack. We're getting into that as well. And it's, it's, there's another sheet right here. Same with the defense. It's quite interesting looking at it. You know, you have Alibi and Overpick too strong. I don't think she is too strong. I think she's just a stronger defender compared to other ones. She has a 1.5 times a shield, a pistol to make rotates. Like, she's a very good operator. I don't think she's overpowered though. Or overpicked. Not my bad. She's overpicked. I, I just think she's picked a lot because of that. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think she's overpowered. Look at this, right? So weapon recoil. So... This is the good part about console, right? It says, Weapon recoil on console will no longer follow changes made on PC and is unimpacted by the following changes. So this means that PC is going to have a completely separate recoil update than console is. Thank God, because for the longest time, they would like nerf a gun or increase the recoil on a gun, not taking into consideration that people on controller that are left on controller, uh, like are, are struggling way worse. And you're just giving the MKs on console a much better advantage anyway than they already have. It's shit. Um, and it's just in general, it's shit, shit for everyone. You don't need to be doing that. Weapon recoil on console, though. This is huge. Weapon recoil on console. Softened overall recoil on the M762, the R4C, the MX4, and the Scorpion. Does this mean that Ash is back on console? Does this mean that Zofia is back on console? Does this mean that Ella is back on console? I don't know yet. I want to see how it feels first before I jump to any conclusions. But I think this is very important, very huge. And same with the MX4, it's Alibi's gun. Alibi's gone, thank God, because, bro, when they change that stupid shit again, bro, it's so annoying. I used to be a big Alibi man, I'm sure you guys know. If you come to my stream, be sure to stop by. I have a live tonight. Nice little plug. Um, I used to play Alibi so much, and I'm probably going to, which I'll get to exactly soon as well. So I want to talk about what else they're nerfing that is so annoying, that is so brutal, that I want to cry, and I'll get to that. But increased recoil on the uh, 6P41, I believe that is one of the LMGs. That's, um... Finca and Fuse, LMGE, that is Zofia's, G8A1, that's IQ's, and Spear, why are they, do this, I saw, and I was like, what are they doing, why are they increasing the overall recoil on the Spear, okay, right, so you just, Finca, essentially, right, because you, you nerfed the, the LMG, then, you nerfed the Spear, what do you want people to do, run out with the shotgun, or, does she even have a shotgun, no, she probably doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't think, she, I don't think that's all, I don't know, I think it's all she has, are those two guns, I might be wrong, I don't know, I can't use other guns, but I think it's more to target the Thunderbird ban. Because if you know, like, Thunderbird obviously is a big operator right now. Um, it's that, That's what I'm crying about because I love Thunderbird and I hate the spear. Hopefully it's not a lot. Um, recoil attachments. This is so huge. I'm going to make a attachment video for all this stuff for the new operators. Um, you know, going over it. But look. Compensator. They added a compensator to Fuse Finca, uh, Gridlock, knock smoke uh, mp5 i mean realistically speaking quickly these don't really matter um i mean it, it is good the only one that only one that does really matter is uh frost frost now it will not only have an extended barrel if you if you play frost a lot you know how the only barrel she had was an extended barrel and i think a suppressor and it made no sense i never understood why um but they're finally changing that they give her a compensator um obviously cav and, the, and doc and all them people too um flash hider 417 this this is this is way more important than the compensator. I personally think the flash hider is the best barrel to use on just about every gun. Uh, you might use a muzzle brake or a compensator on certain guns, but I don't know. I think flash hider is the best. Um, 
I think the biggest one for this is going to be um, Frost. I mean, Glass, it doesn't really matter. The 4 and 7, I mean, maybe. Um, Blackbeard, Buck. I mean, I, I kind of, yeah, I mean, you know, it is good. Because um, it is always the better option, you know. So, then you look at Muzzle Break. Nothing really crazy here. Like I said, I personally think Flash Hider is going to be the best, um, in my opinion. So, these don't really mean much to me. But this is huge shoe. Suppressor. Populated by all, right? This means that now if you use a suppressor, you will not lose damage. So you could be very quiet and not have any other damage difference. I mean, you might have a little bit more recoil because you're taking off of a compensator or a flash hider or whatever you want to use for a suppressor. So you might have a little bit more recoil, but you're going to be able to be a lot quieter. So, I mean, that's going to be interesting. It is going to be wild. Then extended barrel. Um, I'm not using extended barrel on quite literally anything, so I don't care. Um, but, I mean, maybe the MPX might be, that might be good on because you're looking at a gun that is very... Um, low damage weapon so at longer ranges i guess now you'll have more damage i mean that's good same with the vigil k1a i mean it's not bad i mean but i personally would never use an extender barrel over a flash hider angled grip this is very interesting very interesting okay because think about this for us console players so for pc angled grip like it's gonna be worse, right? It's gonna be, it's good and bad because think about it. They nerfed the uh, PC recoil a lot, right? But they did not nerf the recoil on console. They nerfed specific guns on console. They specifically said they're not, you know, separate. So now, PC has this like weird recoil patterns and stuff like that. But they do get an angled grip. But with an angled grip, you're gonna have more recoil. So with the new patterns, it's gonna be all over the place. But think about it. If I'm correct, us console players now are gonna have angled grip on all these guns, and only the guns that were listed above. Are going to have more recoil or less recoil which are not a lot but look the r4c has a angled grip on top of that they nerfed the recoil on the r4c on console jaeger has an extended grip mira and goyo have an extended grip what am i saying an angled grip uh mira and goyo have it two in the vector legion and orcs have it the smg 11 this is very interesting. For those of you who don't know, obviously, like, when you use an angle grip, it makes you ADS faster. It makes you ADS a lot faster. So, it's going to be quite interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm really excited to see it on Ash. Nice force crack. Jaeger and the Vector. And SMG. There's a couple on here that I just listed. I like a lot, too. Now, we have laser. I'm not using laser on anything. If you, if you use a laser, I promise you you're trolling. Like, there's no need to use a laser. <clears throat> it's just going to expose you. Maybe on a shotgun, but still, it's gonna expose you. Uh, weapon sights. This is where we get very interesting chat. Why am I saying chat? I'm not streaming. Guys, listen. Weapon sights. Okay, so the people who are gaining a 1.5 times scope, which you guys know, I love the crutch off of the 1.5 times scope, so this is a W, but it's also an L. I'll explain. Alibi shotgun 1.5, Amaru G8 1.5, Doki Bosch G 1.5 2.0, Fuse AK 12. The, the ones that are very interesting on here for me. Are gonna be um the AUG, interesting. Jackal C7 is interesting. Um Lion 1.5, Maestro 1.5, but that's on the AC. Oh, damn it, I, I got hype for a second. That's on the shotgun. Nomad AK uh Oso 1.5. Did she not already have 1.5? Oh no, that's on the commando. Um Rook MP5 1.5 times. I mean uh, if you're not using a two times scope, why using Rook? Um Thermite 1.5, that's good. That's not five of six. Thatcher 1.5. That's good. That's very good. Visual Bashi. I got so hyped because I heard that Visual was in a 1.5 times, but for the stupid Bashi. And the Zofia M762. That is going to be really good. I love 1.5 times. So Zofia M762, and they're decreasing the recoil on console. That's going to be very good for us. On top of that, this is where we cry, okay? Goyo Vector has a 1.5 times. Very good. Okay, now, now we start to cry. AK-12 Ace lost the 2.0, has a 1.5. Rough. Yana lost to 1.5. Rough. Mute MP5K lost to 1.5. Nomad lost to 2.5. Gained to 1.5. That's good. Sledge minus 2.5. Trolling. What are they doing? Now this is where I cry. Cade lost to 1.5 times scope. For those of you who know, I crutch off of Cade 1.5 times. So now I'm going to be crying in the club. And you think, oh, don't worry. I'll go back to playing my Wamai 1.5. No, I won't because it got rid of Wamai 1.5 as well. Why? I don't know. But a W here, a fat W is they gave the 1.5 times to Yana G36E, Frost, again, got her 1.5 times back, and Pulse.
got a 1.5 times. I don't know about you, but whenever I play Castle, I feel like a different man because I got the 1.5 on. Uh, but now that Pulse has it, that's gonna be so good. Then you have the EMP and Pack Grenade. You're gonna have Blackbeard, Montang, Dokubi, Knock, Gridlock, Sledge, Lion, and Osa. They're gonna have the EMP grenades, which for you who don't know, you know, you throw an impact at the wall, and it's not impact, but it's like an impact EMP grenade. So it's like a mini Thatcher. Now this is gonna be very interesting too for the um, for the higher player console players, like higher ranked, who do these nades from below. It's gonna be a little less because now they're decreasing the damage from collateral destruction, meaning through the floor. Um, so it's not gonna do as much damage. I'm sure you can still get a kill with it, but I don't think it's gonna be an instant kill. That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Um, hard breach charge. What the hell is this? Uh, reduce activation time to four seconds. So I guess you put down a hard breach charge faster. Fuse. They buffed him. Reduce drilling time to two seconds from three. Increase pellets trail visibility. Add smoke grenade as a third gadget. Cali increase charges to four from three. Uh, decrease recoil and stuff like that. That's very good. Glaz got a claymore. They're just adding so much stuff to Glaz. I think he has three gadgets right now. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining. Captal gone six. Interesting. I, I hopefully Captal gets more play because he should. Yana remove gone six. Rough. Finka re replace frag grenades with smoke grenades. Expected. Sad, but expected. Now this is sad. As a Maverick main, losing my nades, I'm gonna cry. Um, down horrendous. I really wish I had my my uh, frag grenades. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sad. And finally, we have a Buck adding a Gon 6. Now, um, obviously, we have the new Operator 2. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Very interesting. He shoots a fucking swarm bug thing, and the bugs fly around the people's screen, and marks them like it's a little lion. Very, very interesting. But looking at all this, uh, big things to take from this. I'm actually very excited uh, for console recoil. Not to say that I can't control recoil. Come on, look at me. But just knowing it's going to be easier, and knowing I have a 1.5 times on other guns, and... All this extra little stuff added is very, very good, and I'm very excited to, to see it. Also, Rook, I'm not sure if you guys know, is going to be able to self-revive. So if you pick up Rook armor, you can self-revive when you go down. Interesting. But what are you guys most excited for? I think the angled grip I'm really excited for on a lot of these guns. Same with, um, what they call this, you know, the recoil nerf. I cannot wait to use Zofia AR again. Uh, Ash AR again. Um... The MX4 again. I mean, I still use it. And the Scorpion again. To be fair, I do use these guns a lot. But I'm going to use them more knowing that I'm going to have way less recoil. Goodbye to the LMG era. Fuck you. You will not be missed. And for the people who are still, you know, crutching off an LMG and now are stuck without it. Kick rocks. You're going to be in probably a rank below yourself because you're shit. No, I'm kidding. But I'm just happy to see all these, like, LMG mains are now going to be gone. They're going to have to actually use a weapon that doesn't mean you just hold down RT or click your mouse button if you're cheating on a mechanical console. So it's going to be really, really good for us, for the normal people. I mean, don't get me wrong. You guys are probably saying to yourself, hey, well, you use Finca every single clip and every single stream. So fuck you. I know. But the difference is I use it because it's used against me. If you guys see my recent streams, I've not been using it. I'm using Twitch. I've been using um, a lot of Zero again, like I used to. I just was using it for a while because it was pissing me off. People use it against me. That's not the point. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. For next season. Um, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to. The new operator. Um, they're adding in stadium to ranked. That's going to be fun. The new map bands. They're making map bands where it's like five maps instead of three. And each person bans one map. That's going to be really interesting as well. I'm actually hyped for that so I don't play the same map over and over again. Um, they're adding in a bunch of stuff. I, this wasn't really a season reveal type video. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen it. But I just wanted to go over the stuff that got hidden and put under the rug that are very important. So let me know what you guys are most excited for next season. But I will see y'all. Be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, and be sure to subscribe. Much love. Mwah.